Hey guys, what's up? This is Shane Dublin, and I'm here with another mechanism tutorial. In this video, I'm going to show you how to double, triple, quadruple, and quintuple your ores you mine using a mechanism process. This is the whole process. It's kind of complicated, but I'm going to just start with single ores. So for single ores, you need an energized smelter, which is just basically like a furnace that you power with electricity. Smelts the ore, puts it out in the chest. To double the ores, you need an enrichment chamber and a smelter. So you put your ore in here, it turns it into two ores, or into two dusts, and shoots it out here. To triple your ores, you need a purification chamber, a crusher, an enrichment chamber, and an energized smelter. So basically, Anything up that way, you need all those machines down here to finish it out. So you put your ore in here, and then it goes to the crusher, it crushes it, goes to the enrichment chamber, goes to the smelter, and then you get three ores. The, ox the purification chamber needs oxygen to purify the ores. Now to get oxygen, you need to separate water, so you use an electrolytic separator, which is this thing. You pump water into it, and out one side goes hydrogen, and out the other side goes oxygen. So I have oxygen coming out of this side, it gets stored in a gas tank, and then it comes over here through these pressurized tubes into the back of this machine and fills up the oxygen. Now to quadruple your ores, you need a chemical injection chamber, which uses hydrogen chloride as a solution. You put your iron ore in there, it pops out four, you see these iron shards getting smelted, and then it just goes down the line. And then you have four ores. Now making hydrogen chloride is a little bit more of a complicated process, so let's look at it. To make hydrogen chloride you need a chemical infuser provided with hydrogen, which you're getting from the electrolytic separator and you need chlorine which you get from an electrolytic separator that is being pumped full of brine. Now brine is probably the hardest part in this whole setup to get just because it's so slow. Now how to get brine you can get it one of two ways. First way is you can get it using salt which you can mine and a chemical oxidizer. So you put the salt into the chemical oxidizer. It starts pumping the uh, starts oxidizing the salt into gaseous brine and then this condenser condenses it to liquid. So you condense it to liquid and then you pump it into this is a storage system the electrolytic separator. And then once you separate it it makes makes sodium and chlorine. Now as of right now I cannot figure out what sodium is used for so I'm just dumping it. I've tried to look through any eye and I can't figure it out. If someone knows let me know in the comments. So you pump the chlorine through here into the chemical infuser and then it combines these two and it becomes hydrogen chloride. You then pump the hydrogen chloride into the chemical injection chamber and you can make your ores. And for the final step of the process to quintuple your ores you need these three machines. You need a chemical dissolution chamber, a chemical washer, and a chemical crystallizer. You put the gold in here, it turns into a liquid gold slurry, you wash the slurry and then you turn the clean gold slurry into gold uh, clumps or something. Let me see what they are. They are gold crystals. And then the gold goes down the line and ends up in the chest. These have upgrade slots in them, but I can't put upgrade in there. Upgrade. I guess it's just a uh, it just doesn't work. 
So it's a bug, or he just hasn't implemented yet. Now this uh, chemical dissolution chamber needs sulfuric acid. Now how to make sulfuric acid, I will show you guys down here. You make sulfuric acid out of gravel, basically. So you take your gravel, you put it in the crusher, it turns it into flint. So you can also just provide it with flint and skip this step. And then it turns it into gunpowder. So you can also provide a gunpowder, which will skip having to crush the flint. And you combine gunpowder with hydrogen chloride, and it turns it into sulfur dust. You might be able to use sulfur from other mods. I'm not sure. It's probably ore dictionary. But you take over from a crusher into this chemical ejection chamber, which you're providing with hydrogen chloride, which I showed you guys how to make over here. And you turns into sulfur dioxide. The sulfur dioxide gets put into another chemical infuser. You combine the sulfur dioxide with oxygen, and it turns into sulfur trioxide. And then sulfur trioxide combined with water vapor gets turned into sulfuric acid. And then the sulfuric acid gets pumped into this chemical dissolution chamber. Now to make water vapor, you just use a rotary condensator. You pump water into one side, and for some reason it's being buggy. I'm not quite sure. Be right back. Okay, I'm back. The problem seemed to be that I did not have the pipes pushing the water into the rotary condenser. So you just hold shift with the configurator and change it. So you put it on push mode. And that seems to keep it full. And you can see it is providing water vapor all the way down to here. So you put the gravel in here, you put the flint in there, you put the sulfur Sulfur gets put into, or goes gravel, flint, gunpowder. The gunpowder turns into sulfur. The sulfur gets turned into sulfur dioxide. You combine the sulfur dioxide with sul with oxygen to make sulfur trioxide. You put the sulfur trioxide with water vapor, and it becomes sulfuric acid. Then you pump the sulfuric acid into the chemical dissolution chamber, and you can triple your ores. So you put the gold in, get a slurry wash, wash the slurry, get the slurry turned into crystals, and then you inject those crystals with hydrogen chloride. Come on. There it goes. Inject the crystals with hydrogen chloride. They get turned into gold shards. Shards get turned into clumps. Clumps get turned into dirty ore. And they get pumped out here. Now I have speed upgrades in all these things. And energy upgrades so they move a little faster. You can also use factories to increase the process even faster. However, the biggest problem with this process is getting the brine, which you can get from the salt or from a salination tower, which I did not explain how to build. So for the salination tower, it's pretty simple to build. You need a 4x4 four four base made out of salination blocks. You need a two salination valves, one to pump the brine out and one to pump water in. And at the top, you need four advanced solar panels and one salination controller. So let's break this. And you can click on it. It says incomplete. It doesn't do anything. And when it's built correctly, you can click that and it will complete it, fill it up with water, and start heating up. This thing only works in the day, which is why it's just so slow. 
and it takes a long time to heat up. So if you have some other mod to like keep it daytime all the time, automatically that would be a good idea. You can use these solar panels. You can run wires down and use them to power your water pumps or something. I have too many water pumps. You don't really need that many. It's just a good idea to keep a decent amount of water going. And you can have multiple salination towers. They can only go up to 18 tall. So this is tall as big and big as you can make them. But you can have multiple ones going. And so you don't have to worry about providing it with salt in here or into the into the uh, chemical oxidizer. And that's about it. If you guys have any questions or comments, let me know. I'll respond to them. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, give it a thumbs down. Let me know why. I'd appreciate it. Uh, thanks for watching, and I will see you guys later. One thing I forgot to mention was why I was using all of these gas tanks. You could just pump the gases straight into the other machines, however they only hold 10,000 millibuckets of gas. So I have a, a buffer basically, so that I don't have to wait a long time for the slower parts of the process, which is making the gases to go. So if you just want fast gold or fast ores processing, you just stick a chunk in there and you don't have to worry about waiting for it to be made while you're processing it. Because like I said earlier, the brine is super slow. It's a super slow process. Oh, one more thing about the salination tower is it has this multiplier. It's times two right now it's because I'm in the desert. So the more arid the climate you're in, the faster and better these salination towers will work. So if you're in like a jungle, it'll have like a 0.5 multiplier and go four times slower. It's really slow. So you want to try to get to a more dry climate. And that's why I have the gas tanks here. It's to store this hydrogen chloride stuff and all the other liquids or gases, so I don't have to wait for them to be processed. Thanks for watching.